Hello everybody. It's time once again for show and tell with Living Dead Dolls and I sang it again too. I got two more. Can you guess which ones? Well, no need to guess because I'm going to show you which ones I got. I got Hansel and Gretel. So now that takes us up to 17 dolls. That's a lot of dolls. This time around, just like the last couple, I decided to take them all out of their um, the things that they're tied down with and all that jazz. So, oh no, there's a dent on his coffin lid. Anyway, so let's get to the meat and potatoes, shall we? I'll start with Hansel because it is Hansel and Gretel and not Gretel and Hansel. But let me read what it says, okay? Say, Hansel and Gretel, sugar and sweets is not what they crave. This brother and sister are straight from the grave. The old witch has no idea what will be in store when these two ghouls show up at her door. It's a nice twist to the original fairy tale, right? They actually eat the witch this time around, as you will see by what he's wearing and how he looks. So, without further ado, say hello to Hansel. He's a bloody little guy, ain't he? Look at that. His bull cut cracks me up. So he's got very white hair, well, blonde, but it's very Aryan looking. Blonde hair and a bull cut. Real bull cut there. There's the back. Okay, and he's got suspenders, or whatever you call this outfit, not suspenders. Knee high socks. Zooming on his face. He's a creepy looking dude, isn't he? Yeah, there's his outfit. Okay, and I love this because there's blood spatters on his shirt. And he's got bloody hands. He's awesome. So, that's Hansel, the usual. The clothing feels like it's felt material. I haven't tried moving his head. Oh, there you go. Lift his head up a bit. You see the blood dribbling down his chin. Yeah, he's a real evil looking dude, isn't he? No eyebrows though, huh? No, no eyebrows really. He's gonna go right next to Rotten Sam and Sandy. I think I'll be putting these two with them. So there you go, that's Hansel. So now, I'll just stand him here by the candle because now comes Gretel. Neither one of these came with um, death certificates, I guess because they're part of the Scary Tales series. So yes, let's check her out. So this is Gretel. She is equally frightening. Nothing sweet about these kids. Look at I love her dress. Let's make move her head back. So, as you can see, she's all bloody too. They don't really have eyebrows. She's got like black smudges on her. Bloody hands, just like her brother. Boy, that witch must have been a good sized witch for them to eat all of her. Oh, oh, there's a string loose. I will have to deal with that with scissors. I don't want it getting wrecked. Oh, I love her pigtails. I'm going to turn her around now. Nice black ribbons on each pigtail. The way that she was uh, stuck in the box, it was with an elastic behind her back. And you'll see what that did to her flesh tone. But let's uh, keep showing the doll. Cute little Mary Janes. I noticed both Hansel and Gretel, their socks seem to be falling down. But you know what? I think that adds to the charm because they are little kids. I'm going to turn around and show you. The one thing I don't like when they have dark ink on the clothing, it wrecks the dolls. But I mean, I buy these for me, 
I don't plan on selling any of these well, unless I exceed the limits and go over I don't know when I'm going to stop buying these, okay? Because this is a new addiction, as I've mentioned numerous times now. I love her hair. See, from this angle, she looks like she'd be all cute, right? She's like... Da, 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 I'm going to eat the witch. Okay, I'm sorry. I end up playing with them, or like making voices and stuff, but look at her bloody eyes. Love this outfit. This also is felt, and this was um, pinned down with an elastic as well. So I took the elastics off. And um, yeah, so this is Gretel. Now let's have brother and sister side by side. Look at them. Aren't they a happy family? Okay, not quite. So yeah, there you go. That's Hansel and Gretel. I'm very pleased with them once I fix this little piece of string here I'll be okay but let me show you because that's the end of that by the way um now that I have so many dolls I've had to think of ways that I could display them all and James helped me by installing a shelf for me which is above the TV now as you can see so, um, I could probably hold, I don't know how many dolls here, but right now they're spaced out, but I have room for more. So, once again, everything's moved. Okay, I've got my Tim Burton figures there, too. See, so I got these ones here. The Four Horsemen. Blah, blah, blah. And then I will be moving that monsterism figurine in the middle there, and I will be probably putting Hansel and Gretel in the corner with Rotten Sam and Sandy. I got lots of brother and sister combos of dolls. Kind of strange. But yeah. So that's my doll collection. Which keeps growing and growing. Um, I don't know when I'll get another set. What the heck? Sorry, I just noticed something strange on my TV. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to let the cat in from the den. I'm going to display these dolls, take some pictures. And... That's it. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Again, it was probably too long, but those of you that like listening to me talk, thank you. I appreciate it. And yeah, as you, you know, feel free to comment and let me know what you think of my doll collection. And yeah, I've, I've been uh, taking pictures of the dolls in weird scenarios, which is lots of fun. So maybe one day I'll do a montage or something. Ah, who knows? But there you go. Well, that's it for now. So... Hope everyone's having a great Monday, and mine's a lot better now that my dolls have arrived. So we'll stop again at Hansel and Gretel and end this. Goodbye.